Hey, Anthony, how are you? Doing good, doing good. How about yourself? I'm doing very well. So I think I speak on behalf of a lot of Love, Victor fans and saying thank you for Felix. Thank you for making him such an easy character to love and understand and cherish. And he's a good guy. And I think everyone really appreciates that. Ah, stop it, stop it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you. So do you remember your first day of filming? I know you and Michael had like a foot race across the Paramount lot. Oh, like, Do you remember yeah. meeting everyone? Yes. Oh, man. Yeah, I do. Uh, I, I met people at like different times. But yeah, I, I remember when we all were together for the first table read and everyone was so goddamn nervous. Everyone was terrified. Um, and uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I, I, I remember meeting everyone. Everyone, Obviously, everyone was lovely. Um, first, what was my first scene? Oh, you guys didn't even see this one. We, we, um, or my first scene was I like brought in like a lemon cake or something. And it was supposed to be like my introduction. And we like, we, they rewrote it and we did it again. And it, it the second time was out on the steps, but technically my first scene has never been shown. And uh, uh, yeah, yeah. So, so, uh, uh, but yeah, that was like the first time I actually got to act with, act with everybody and do the zany thing for the first time. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And now do you remember your last day of filming? Uh, yes, it was like three months ago, four months yeah. ago. Um, months yeah, it was, uh, yeah, it wasn't too long ago. We, um, uh, it was like the end of March and uh, uh, it was like exactly where we wrapped up season one back on the Ferris wheel and uh, the carnival. And it was, uh, it was an emotional time, uh, you know, after like three years and it, we're back where we kind of started. So uh, yeah, it was, uh, uh, it was emotional, but uh, in a heartwarming and loving sort of way. Yeah, and Michael gave a very sweet speech too. He did, he did. He gave an amazing speech. He, he, no, I don't think anyone could have said it better. Uh, yeah, he killed that. So did you get, get to keep anything from set? Oh yeah, oh yeah. I uh, got uh, the Brasstown coffee exit sign, yes. uh, which uh, I got a, a teapot that was in Brasstown coffee and so many clothes, so many clothes. Um, if I'm ever wearing anything nice, it's probably from set. So uh, yeah, I, I, they gave me a bunch of stuff. And so I have like a lot of Felix's jackets. I actually have the jacket that's on the billboard for season three. Like I have that, yeah. So uh, uh, I'm waiting for things to die down, but eventually I'll, I'll wear it once, you know, like it's not as affiliated. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's uh, 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 yeah, I have that jacket. It's a dope jacket. And you talked about your trailer on set. You didn't really want to decorate it all, but you said George decorated his trailer. And oh yeah, I'm he curious. dexed us out. I want to know what was in George's trailer. Sorry, oh, George. Gosh, I, I remember a rug. I remember like it was very like he's gonna hate me saying this, but it's it <laughs> very like hippie. You know, it was very like you know, like I'm sure there was like a record player and like. <laughs> uh, like a uh, um uh, like speakers and like it was very like feng shui kind of kind of vibe uh uh i remember that yeah and i i was true the form and never put anything the only thing that was in my trailer was just boxes of stuff and so which was a hassle to move out and i was correct i'm i i, I felt bad for george because that must have been a moving process but uh yeah, yeah 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 he he had a bunch of shit in this stuff so what did you keep in your boxes I'm going all it was just there. stuff like people gave me <laughs> and like over time because like you know you work a long day and you're like I don't want to carry these boxes back to the car and so you just kind of leave it there and then three years go by and all of a sudden you're like wait a second what am I supposed to do with all this and then I had to like carry it all at once walking through a ho the hotel lobby just like with like a shit ton of stuff <laughs> but yeah uh, uh yeah that was a minute I love it. So how did you feel about Felix's arc this season? Were you happy with how things ended? Oh yeah, I loved it. I loved it. Yeah, it was, uh, I thought it was the perfect way to end him. Uh, and like him finding the thing that he really always wanted was like that family dynamic and him like getting accepted back. And uh, I know a lot, some people were disappointed that uh, Pilar and Felix didn't end up together, but I actually thought, you know, the relationship the friendships that he gained, I think, are way more important than any romantic relationship. So the fact that he got to uh, uh, reconnect things with P Pilar, understand where he was with Lake, 
and also be able to come back into the Salazar family, I thought was a, was a perfect way to go for him. Yeah. Did you get a copy of that picture? Uh, uh, what picture? The family picture. They got pulled into the Salazar family picture. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I have no <laughs> idea where that is. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't even know if it was a real photo. I, I think it was just like a right. flash or something. Right. I have no idea. But uh, uh, yeah, no, I don't have a copy of that. <laughs> okay, had to ask. So what was it like working with Isabella? Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. I love Bella. She's um, obviously a fabulous actress, as you know. Yeah. Um, and just super fun to play with. Like she, like... Um, our characters were really interesting. And so like, as this, our story progressed, it just was always a blast and so much fun to film. So uh, uh, yeah, yeah, it was always so much fun. Yeah, and I loved your, ew, don't say lovers, B.B. Wood impression. <laughs> I don't know oh, if yeah. was improvised, but it was amazing. <laughs> I don't, I don't remember. I do remember being like, how do I do this? Like the most insulting way possible. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> um, no, she, uh, uh, yeah, I, I can't do a B.B. impression. And so I, my, my infliction was automatically just to go as high as possible. Uh, I should have gone higher. I should have taken it the, the next step. But uh, yeah, that was, a fun, that was a fun scene. That was really great. Yeah, so tell me about working with her. I love oh my your God. dynamic. Yeah, she, I mean, she's obviously just killer in every way. Um, and uh, uh, another just amazing actress. And uh, so playing with her as well and just like being present in uh, those moments were always fun. And, you know, we kind of, uh, that was kind of like the first relationship Felix had. And so uh, to be able to grow with that character over time and uh, uh, trying to figure out the, the dynamic between Lake and Lucy and how Felix was feeling about it um, yeah. uh, was like a really cool storyline to play and to finish it off. Yeah, yeah. I love that they got closure twice in this season, but it just they did. felt right for this characters. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah yeah definitely I yeah yeah I think I think where, where everyone landed was correct for sure yeah yeah definitely and then I loved um Felix's dynamic with his mom that you got to be a kid and she got to be your mother and it changed and and you could see them both growing as people this season which is lovely and Betsy is just delightful so awful it's like I mean amazing amazing <laughs> <laughs> I mean, incredible incredible oh just awful oh I hate her no, no, no. Betsy, Betsy's in, like seriously one of my favorite actresses. She's incredible. Um, and so being able to work with her and uh, uh, was just a dream come true. And she just made me a better actor in every scene I was in. So yeah, yeah. She and I mean that whole uh, uh, that whole uh, you know like Felix finally being able to be a kid again and like figuring out that dynamic was just so much fun to play. Yeah. So what were some of your favorite Felix moments? Probably the Ma stuff, you know, like uh, pretty much everything. Like, I mean, for season three, it was really like, you know, the end scene. I really liked doing that monologue with uh, Pilar at mm -hmm. the very end, uh, right before we go to the photos. That was a lot of fun. Um, and, uh, uh, but like, you know, definitely the coming out scene in season one, uh, the uh, dealing with uh, the mom uh, situation in season two and how Felix, you know, was trying to cope with everything. And uh, uh, with season three, really just like uh, kind of everything. I really, I really enjoyed Felix's storyline. Mm -hmm. And you must have gotten so much feedback, so many comments online. I can't even imagine. So tell me about some of that. Yeah, it's, you know, I'm still like, yeah, I, I'm, it's, it's, it's an interesting thing. You know, you, you're especially like, you know, a anyone who's watching who's a child actor, will completely understand it. You don't really get a lot of support at the start. So when you all of a sudden like have a sh like a, a ton of it, it, it's a weird feeling. And I'm not I'm not sure when like that becomes normal, a normal thing in your life. But, you know, it, it's it's weird to be constantly just like 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 I like what you do. It's it's a very strange thing. And so, um, yeah, it's it's especially this season, this season for so, uh, like just a lot of people. Um, and so I've, thank you to everyone for the support. It's, it's been incredible, amazing. Um, uh, but yeah, a lot of people really uh, seem to enjoy the show as a whole. And so, uh, uh, yeah, I can't be more thankful. Yeah. Do you get fan art? I do. Like I do. Yeah. That, that's, a, that's a weird one. That's a weird one. I, I, uh, uh, sometimes I see it and it's, uh, uh, that is when someone like looks at you and is like, I'll draw that. Uh, that's just an odd, <laughs> an odd thing. 
but uh yeah yeah a lot of a lot of felix fan art um uh and that's always that's always i love that stuff that's a blast to see yeah and everyone loves the victor and felix friendship the Felix, as you said yes. the show on their uh friendiversary <laughs> so tell yes us some yes every memories of working with michael uh, every day man that that guy is amazing uh i love him to death uh and uh yeah i mean we we just always never fail to make each other laugh so like every time i was on set with him it was just a joy um and uh yeah i really hope to work with him again in the future at some point uh doing something else he was he's incredible and uh, uh yeah i made i made a friend for life so I was, i'm very thankful for him yeah. Nico, greet them. We spoke to him recently and he said he was listening to Michael's music because he just was connected he? with him. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nico's incredible. That didn't he kill it this season? He was yes, great. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. He he's jacked. He is jacked. <laughs> like, like, oh my gosh. Have you seen him dance? In the prom. Oh yeah. Yeah. Not, yeah. No, he he's so goddamn talented. Um, same with uh, uh Josh um uh, yeah. i believe he played connor and uh, uh he's he's his singing voice is incredible as well yeah we had a lot of talented people yeah were you happy with who victor ended up with yes i i am i mean i could have gone either way i think both of them are great for different reasons um but i think uh to round off the plot as a whole and like to bring back uh, uh or to to complete the foreshadowing of season one i think it just worked uh and uh yeah i i i think it was the right move to make yeah yeah mm. so you've got on several trips with the cast tell me about some of those stories that maybe you haven't revealed before oh man yeah i i've i've gosh there's been so many <laughs> um yeah we've yeah we go places all the time we went to new york uh big bear um 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 of another place that is on a hill that for some reason I'm forgetting Joshua tree. Um, yeah, we've, we've traveled all over together. It's, uh, uh, uh yeah. I, I mean, like, it's just us like messing around for like a couple days and us just like playing Uno and then playing this really Mason has this really intense game uh, or way of playing Uno. And so we do, uh, uh, uh it, it genuinely has, I, I wouldn't say start fights, but it has like, <laughs> rose tensions <laughs> but um uh yeah we we just mess around walk around cities and play uno we're we're not a very like uh uh interesting cast <laughs> no 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 that sounds very fun. we're very just low-key yeah yeah no no you need to decompress i get it mm -hmm. totally so what do you miss most about love victor Ah, uh, the people, you know, just going and seeing the cast and crew and just um, uh, kind of working with them. Uh, yeah. And, uh, uh, you know, just like that uh, collaborative type of way to get the scene working right, um, which is like one of the things I love just about acting in general. Yeah. So it makes sense. I'll, I would obviously miss it on Love, Victor. Um, but yeah, yeah, just the people. I, I, it, you could not have gotten a better group of people together. Um, and uh, the fact I was able to experience that was just yeah. so much fun and so from like danny our sound guy to um uh, uh justin our camera guy like everyone was just incredible to work with so yeah i i uh, uh yeah it's, it's just all those people i'm really gonna miss mm -hmm. so what do you want to do now from here what are some roles that you want to tackle so i mean i apparently some things have come up on imdb which i uh have been i've just been aware with with other interviews so okay. apparently I get I'm I'll I'm, I'll talk about play dead but I don't know what else I'm allowed to reveal so I won't. Um I uh yeah I did this movie uh with Bailey Madison and Jerry O'Connell two fabulous actors. Yeah. So cool. So, so cool. So nice. Oh yeah, they're great. Have you have you talked to them before? Yeah, both of yeah. them. Yeah, so incredible nice. like people. genuinely. Yeah. Yeah, oh, and, and just amazing. Bailey's doing um uh Pretty Little Liars. Pretty Little Liars right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and uh, 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 yeah, and it's, it's like, it, she's, from what I hear, she's having a blast doing that. And, um, uh, yeah, so, you know, her, Jerry, have been, were incredible to work with, and it was a really, really fun shoot. Um, and so, uh, yeah, that's in Paris Can or Con right now, uh, whatever that's called. Yeah. But uh, it should be coming out soon. Uh, they don't tell me much. I'm a dumb actor. <laughs> But uh, 
when that comes out, watch it. It's a very different character from Felix, that's for sure. So uh. very cool. And we'll, we'll look out for the ones that you can't talk about, but have been done. We'll look out. Yes. For yeah. I, I, yeah. I will keep you guys <laughs> up to date when I can, but I don't want to get in trouble. Very cool. So a project that you did years ago, but I want to ask about it. This is us. You got to be a stage manager in the Mr. Rogers neighborhood. Oh yeah. In a fictional that like, universe. What was yeah, that was, like? Wasn't that like 2021? That was, yeah, it feels like longer, but yeah. It, oh yeah, it does feel like longer. Yeah. I, it, it's weird to think about Love, Victor was like two years ago. Like that's when it released. Yeah, like that's so yeah. mind boggling. Um, feels like I've been doing this for 12 years. Um, <laughs> But uh, yeah, yeah, this is us. Yeah, super fun. That was it was super fun to just hang out over there. Um, uh, another great set, great people. Um, uh, Mr. The guy who played Mr. Rogers, Walter, was insanely nice, and it felt like you're just talking to Mr. Rogers. Uh, uh, he has a, a great bed and breakfast, from what I hear. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah, no. Uh, this is us was a great set to be on. Really fun. Mm -hmm. Amazing. And mm -hmm. uh, Felix likes his shows. He likes his Mrs. Maisel. So I'm curious, what have you been watching lately that you've been really into? Oh, gosh. I, well, I love Mrs. Maisel. That's actually a really <laughs> good show. And if you haven't watched it, you should. Um, I, uh, yeah, what have I been watching? A lot of YouTube, to be honest. <laughs> been watching <laughs> Cody Ko. Um, yeah. I, uh, 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 Danny Gonzalez, uh, Drew Gooden. I, yeah, I've been in like a YouTube kick. But like a lot of the stuff I watch, probably people won't be interested. Like I've been going back and like watching old horrible histories. Do you know that show? No. Oh I'm gosh, not. I probably shouldn't be talking about this because it's, it's for, because it's you know Hulu. But um, uh, there's a show on the BBC. It was called Horrible Histories, and it taught you about history. But they did like cool songs and stuff, and yeah. uh, it was a bunch of these Brits. And uh, it was, it, it's a really fun show. It's a really fun show. And so they talk about like Richard III and he sings about not being that bad of a guy. Or they talk about like, a, a, um, uh, um, like, like back in, I want to say like the 1400s, uh, there was uh, this king and he basically needed to uh, confirm his le uh, legitimacy of the crown. And so he asked the Pope if he could uh, uh, basically crown him king. And the Pope was like, sure, man, yeah, no problem. But then that gave the Pope the power. And so they like do like, and so like, it was like this huge conflict. And it's actually um, the uh, reason, uh, do you know Dante's Inferno? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so um, that guy uh, was kicked out of Florence because of that struggle power. And Florence was taken over uh, uh, by the king and he was obviously a Pope guy. And so if you read Dante's Inferno, there's like, like he's like talking about Florence and all that. Um, but they just talk about history and stuff. So I've been like going back and watching those and those are a lot of fun. Yeah, that sounds fascinating. Mm -hmm. And we have a little guest star. Does Can it? your dog? I want to see Willow. Dog. Willow, come here. Come here. No? Okay. I'm going to force you. Oh. There. All right. This is Willow. This is my baby. I woke her up from a nap, so she's Aww, probably not she's too happy. She's so sweet, though. Yeah, she's adorable. She needs a haircut bad. She, I need to bring her in. I, but yeah, she, uh, um, she's Aww. a little baby. She's a little grandma. I like to How think she talks she? like this, you know? She's like, ah, the, the life I've seen. That's my <laughs> voice for her. <laughs> you don't know what I've gone through, Anthony. You know? Oh, hi, baby. <laughs> <sighs> Oh, yeah, but that's precious. that's weird. Yeah, oh, she's oh, yeah. she's something. She's a troublemaker. She's too smart for her own good. <laughs> she's had enough of this interview. Yeah, she has. You know, <laughs> she's like, "Why did you move me?" Okay, I'm, I'm sure. comfy there. Yeah. Oh. In her little bite. voice. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> 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 oh man, you're such a you're such a grandma. Anyway, um. On that note. <laughs> yeah, <thank> sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. Thank you so, so much for your time. Thank you for your yeah. heart. I can't wait to see what you do next. You're amazing on Love, Victor. You deserve all the love coming your way. Thank you so much. It was lovely thank you. talking yeah, to it, you as always. Yeah, it was great seeing you again. Hope to see yeah. you soon.